My main media are alabaster stone and various woods that I use to frame the alabaster. Artist Andrew McDonald's warm, elegant works contrast with that of Sean Brown, who creates tinier jewelry and framed art with a whimsical touch. It's ceramic, found objects, feathers, paint brushes, things like that. Both artists will bring creations to the 23rd annual Art Market, December 11th through December 20th. It's the gallery's annual fundraiser for the Arvada Center's gallery division, so it helps us uh, offset costs that we usually use to put on exhibitions throughout the rest of the year. In fact, the galleries offered more than 19 exhibitions in the 2008-2009 season free to the public. The annual art market is a chance to see and purchase the works of more than 100 artists. There's some fabulous work. I bought a, a uh, Christmas ornament made by a world-renowned woodturner at the market last year and it was not expensive so you have that mixture of great art for a reasonable price and so I try to contribute to that. This year McDonald will bring a selection of his alabaster and wooden bowls, jewelry boxes, lamps and more. To many people they're new. They haven't seen something like that and most people are like me is that they are very taken by the colors and figures within the stonework. The pieces are often illuminated to help show off the natural designs within the alabaster that is quarried just outside of Fort Collins. McDonald credits a Netherland artist named Max Krimmel for some of his inspiration with alabaster. As soon as I saw pictures of his work, I knew that this was the material that I wanted to work with. I began to make small bowls, lathe turned bowls, and I uh, tried to get them as thin as possible, try to create a sense of strength and fragility using a very hard material that is also translucent. Each piece is a unique form inspired by the stone itself. As a carpenter, McDonald found the alabaster medium comfortable to work with and incorporates it into his furniture pieces too. I'm also influenced by various styles that have come before me, particularly arts and crafts style, to a certain extent shaker style in terms of the furniture. For artist Sean Brown, inspiration springs from many cultures. Pre-Columbian art, Egyptian art, pop culture, now rock and roll, vintage tattoos. I think it's fun and, and whimsical and at the same time retains a sophistication about it. I think they should bring a smile to their face and I think they draw people in because I really like working in small detail and so there's the initial impact which is the big graphic nature of some of my pieces but the idea is to draw the viewer in to get a closer look with all the little details. Brown's jewelry takes about two weeks to create and begins with a ball of clay. I cut the pieces out of the clay, they're hand painted and then they're fired multiple times in the kiln. I'm firing to about 2,000 degrees, and everything is hand-painted and handmade. Once all the firings are complete, then I start adding the found objects, beads, feathers, brushes, things like that. Brown is also known for his framed works. Bringing his creations to the art market is a bit like coming home. I worked at the Arvada Center for about 10 years in the maintenance department and in the gallery and museum, and it's really where I got my start. And the art market was actually the first show that I showed my artwork in. And so it's a great way to give back. Uh, and it's good for the artists, it's good for the Arvada Center, and um, it's fun, and it showcases local talent, and there's so much of it in Colorado. It has something for everyone, from $5 all the way up to $5,000. It's just a really great place to help support the Arvada Center and your local regional artists. It's a really win-win situation, both, both for the artist and for the Arvada Center. And for art lovers and gift givers, too.
Again, the art market is scheduled for December 11th through the 20th. The artists and the center share the proceeds, so it's a great chance to collect a piece while investing in our community.